All right, guys, we're doing something a little bit different. We are fabricating a shelf for this plasma table we got right here. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and sit down next to my existing hardware shelf rack. Let's pull out our CAD design software, cardboard aided design software. Consists of a Sharpie and a fucking piece of cardboard. Um, pretty much what we got to do is we got to figure out what the size of the plasma is before we uh, start designing the shelf. So I've got two views here, top view and a side view. And basically the more views you create when you're planning something out, the more problems you're going to find before you ever put your hand on any sort of material. It's just going to make things go a lot smoother out here in the shop. Uh, side view says we got 18 by 17 and now it's time to go and measure the table and make sure that we've got enough space down here to put that plasma unit. Uh, it's not going to fit between the tubes so I gotta nest it down there behind that tube which is three inches. We gotta make sure we account for that because we have some stuff that comes out of the front of the machine like the ground and the plasma lead. So uh, this is where the planning phase really pays off. You can find any busts or problems. Uh, this one's just a potential issue. We have four inches, so plenty of space. Not worried about it. It's going to go ahead and fit down in there and still give us access to the front of the machine. So now we have the plasma drawn. Now it's time to draw the table that we're going to put the plasma into. This little dotted line here represents the plasma torch. The solid line here is the piece that we're going to cut out and fabricate. Need one for each side as well as a small little piece in the back here. So just a total of three pieces. Now we're going to do the exact same drawing but from the side view. Just to make sure that we don't have any problems and everything's going to go as planned here. Overall, it looks like we're going to need 18 plus 3 inches which gives us 21. And there's that little tiny scab piece in the back there. So now we need to figure out what size that piece is. Overall we need 10 inches. But we're not quite ready to do that. We need to figure out how much material we need first. I'll show you why in a second. 21 inches times 2. That little piece is at least going to be 10 inches. So we need a total of 52 inches of material. Let's go to the scrap pile. Figure out what we're going to use. Make sure we have at least 52 inches of it. And found a good candidate. We'll pull that off to the side and get it loaded up on the chop saw so it's ready. So that piece, we're going to need that measurement now. To design the rest of this table or shelf. We got two inches by one and a half. So we're gonna use that two inch side. We know we need ten inches overall. Two inches on that side, two inches on the other side, ten minus four gives you six inches for the little piece that goes in between there. So once we got our view, it's really important that we make this. I know it looks complicated, but metal cuts slower and is more expensive than wood, so it's really worth this time to plan things out. And now we're going to check and make sure it matches up to our drawing, the pieces we cut. We got our two long pieces, 21 inches, and our short little scab piece, 6 inches. Now it's time to tack it up. So just tack the very outside here. That way you can still peel it around and move it while you square it up. Once you get that third tack on it, it's going to lock it in place and you can go ahead and weld it out. So you'll probably notice that we spent more time planning this little three-piece project than we did actually fabricating it. And that's more common than you might think, uh, which is a big reason why I'm building the CNC plasma table so I can start doing more of my planning in the computer and let it do all the heavy lifting and tough math on some of the more complicated stuff that we do. But since this is a simple three-piece project, our cardboard-aided design was more than enough to compensate for any issues that we would run into on something like this. So hopefully uh, a little bit of CAD for your home shop helps you guys out.